In this video, I will show you how easy it is to set up a listening test with the Web Audio Evaluation tool. You can download the package as a zip or pull the source code using Git from the GitHub page in the description. I've already downloaded the package and dragged it to a web server right here. Note that you don't really need a web server as you can also run the test locally on your computer. I'm just going to the web address and append testcreate.html at the end to open the easy test creator. I will demonstrate that you can set up a test in under five minutes. Um, so let me just set this timer and I'll show you. The first page allows you to drag in an existing configuration and modify it, but we will start from scratch here. Here I can select an interface type. So let me just select an easy one like the AB test, which lets the subject choose between two or more different audio samples. The test creator is really a list of options that you can adjust and I won't go into detail on each of them, but I'll just set up a simple test that might be suitable for your purposes. So here I'm putting all the samples at the same loudness and enforcing a certain sample rate and asking the system to perform a calibration first. I'll make the exit text slightly more personal and collect some metrics. Metrics are always good, so I'll collect as many as possible. Maybe I'd like to know something more about the subject, so I'll ask them a survey question before the test. For instance, what is your name? I'll add an ID so I find it back when processing the results and make this question mandatory. I could ask them for their age as well using a number question. Let's not make this mandatory. And after the test, I might want to ask the subject what they thought about the test. And I can use a multiple choice radio button question for this. And then add as many options as I like. Okay, this will do. Here are some more options about the interface, but I think we're ready to create our first page. Conveniently, the web audio evaluation tool comes with a number of example audio files of a person saying different numbers from zero to nine. Zero. One. So let me just enter this folder as the default path. Let's randomize the order of the samples. And we can loop the playback of the samples as well. I'll disable synchronous playback for now. So all the samples start from the beginning of the file. I can ask survey questions before and after the page as well, but I think we're good for now. And let's add our first audio element. First of all, we can add an outside reference, for example, the number zero, which people can refer to. And then we can add our A and B samples, for instance, one and two. And we can make sample two slightly quieter as well compared to the equal loudness that we set in the beginning. And let's give the access title a meaningful name. For instance, which number has the least artifacts? So the subject knows what to listen for. Then we can make a second page. Obviously you can make as many pages as you like. Here the question will be, which number is the warmest? We can still use the same folder randomize the order as per good practices and loop the playback and have them play in sync so that if you skip to the next audio file it actually goes to the corresponding position this time we'll use comment boxes as well and give them a customized prefix for instance comment on stimulus so now let's add some more interface elements like a master volume control, a test page count, a playhead, and of course, comment boxes. And the access name, as mentioned, is warmth. So now I'll show that you can actually add more than two elements to the AB interface. So it effectively becomes an ABC interface. And I'll use files three, four, and five for this one and give them meaningful names. So at this point, we have a proper test that we can export as an XML file and just store it on the same server. For instance, in the tests folder, I'm gonna call it abtest.xml. Uh, 
And now we can just go to that address. Note that we're perfectly in time. So to actually run the test, you go to test.html and then you append question mark URL equals test slash the test we just made, which is AB test.xml. And here's the test that we made. So let me just enter my name. I won't tell you my age. This is the optional audiometric or system calibration. So here we have then the first page of our test with one reference and two wow. test samples. Let's select A and submit, proceed to the next page. Three, four, five, five, four, three, four. I can also add comments, for instance, saying stimulus A is too sharp and submit. Here we get the end question of our test. And there's my personal exit message. I hope this video helps you creating your own listening test using the web audio evaluation tool or convince you to start using it. More information as well as the software itself, which is open and free, can be found on github.com slash brechtdemann slash web audio evaluation tool.